Hey guys, what is going on? It is Constantine, and uh, I'm bringing you guys this video on my new channel called Smart Cod Commentaries, where I talk about um, theories and really interesting facts about science and stuff like that. Kind of like one minute physics, except longer, and over Call of Duty gameplay commentaries. And uh, pretty much, this is a 21 and 4 sniping on the PS3, which is my only console. And, um, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, I guarantee you guys will learn something from this video and all my videos. I put a lot of effort into them, and I know you guys will like them. So, um, what I want to talk about today is, uh, the Many Worlds Theory. So, pretty much to begin with, the Many Worlds Theory was started by Hugh Everett in 1957, which was actually named the Many Worlds Theory by Bryce DeWitt a couple years later. States that, basically, uh, when you make a decision you're not forced into one comprehensible state or another and that the path you didn't take is being taken in a whole different parallel universe that is created when you make a decision so if that doesn't really make sense um, what I'm pretty much trying to say is uh, for example when you decide to do your homework if you decide to do your homework a whole different parallel universe is created where you do something completely different. For example, if I, let's say, I decide to take this pen right now, and this pen is in my hand, and I'm holding it above my computer. I could either drop it, or I could hold it in my hand. So let's say I drop it. There, I just dropped the pen. There's, I just created a whole second parallel universe where the whole course of my life changes because I held the pen and didn't drop it which is so theoretically speaking you create hundreds of of universes in one day and over the course of one day the whole entire world creates trillions upon trillions of new universes so ever since you were born you've created billions and billions and billions of universes so to put that in, into perspective ever since humans started making decisions thousands of years ago so many universes have been created, it's really difficult to think about. So in order to try, for me, to try to explain how many universes, parallel universes, have been created since humans first started making decisions, you can take the biggest number you could possibly think of and multiply it by five quintillion, which is an American um, number, and in European it's 500 trillion. So I'll write that on the screen and then multiply it by five quintillion again and that still doesn't even show the correct amount of parallel universes that have been created ever since humans first started making decisions so next time someone tells you if someone ever does tell you that you aren't any doing anything useful or important you can tell them that you've created theoretically created at least lots and lots and lots of worlds far more than they'd ever be able to think i'd like to see what they'd say to that However, this is just a theory and hasn't necessarily been proven yet, so it's just some food for thought, some pennies for thought, whatever it'd be called, I don't, I'm not really sure. <laughs> so, um, just to give you guys another example of how this would apply to uh, everyday life, is if you look at a timeline. Now, a normal timeline is just a flat, straight line, which points out a specific series of events, and if you were to apply the many worlds theory that timeline after every single every single decision or event or anything that happened in that battle would split so the line would go and as the war started after as soon as the war started the line is already split in two so the timeline is two lines and as soon as something else happens it splits again and splits again and splits again and splits again until the timeline at the end of the war is eventually a huge, 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 huge uh, branch chart or tree chart. And that's just, if you think about that, that's, that's amazing. And um, now, I don't know how practical it would be to think about these sort of things and to be actually considering them as, as correct. But I just thought it was interesting and... Um, in the comments section below, just leave what other theories you guys would like to hear about. And if you guys did like the video, please leave a rating and subscribe. It would really help. I'm sure you guys uh, have not heard about the Many Worlds Theory. And I do put a lot of effort into my commentaries. And as you guys can see, this right here, I have 
two pages of notes on uh, the many worlds theory and yeah so this is my first commentary and I really really would appreciate some feedback and some more ideas for future commentaries I do have some more ideas planned out for future commentaries and theories and stuff but uh, yeah in this gameplay as you guys can see I use the L118 which is a semi uh, a bolt action sniper rifle actually and uh, it's it was a fun gameplay here as you guys can see in the very end uh, I stunned myself twice in a row so uh, yeah whatever and uh, it was a fun gameplay to play to do fun gameplay to play wow that is just ridiculous anyway final kill just got it in time leave a rating peace